and we are following now breaking news out of our nation's capital. Heavy rains causing widespread flash flooding across the Washington, D.C. area. You're looking at some pictures here, cars uh, not able to move through this water, some people swimming to safety. Uh, several roads have been flooded. Police and fire teams are, have been forced to rescue stranded drivers. Uh, during the morning commute today, we're told down tree and mudslides are also a concern right now. Uh, but some unbelievable pictures coming from there. Obviously, this flash flooding um, is, is a huge concern as some people do try to swim through this to safety. It can get them into When a lot we of came on the air about two and a half hours ago, Kevin Cork was a reporter on the North Lawn. And uh, Sandra, you could hear the rain yeah. uh, hitting the tent where he was reporting live from. And so that's the result of the system we're seeing. In addition to this, not just the roads and people driving through standing water, which you always say, don't do it, but it's. It's a hard thing to do when you're trying to get to work in the morning and you, you think, I just I have to make another 30 feet across this little minor lake in the road. But you never know how deep those roads are, and that's when you get in the trouble. In addition, on Capitol Hill, there are trains that run and connect the, uh, the office buildings for senators and members of the House. And um, what you have there are the train system on the House side. Apparently, the water got so deep that that was disrupted earlier today. In fact, Chad Pergram, a few of the others uh, working the Hill for us today, were sending a bit of information along on that today. So it's, it's covering the area, and it's a big system right now to deal with. In some areas, three to four inches of rain in an hour. Some of those areas obviously have seen uh, the water gradually recede, but as you know, uh, people do take risks at this time. It is a life-threatening situation in some areas. Uh, authorities there have put out warnings, do not try to swim to safety. Uh, you've seen images of people standing on their cars. All happened very quickly, and to your point, uh, Bill, during the morning rush, during the morning commute, mm -hmm. Uh, these uh, flood waters, um, they, they were rising fast, and that rain was coming down hard. Yeah, oftentimes when you get this flash flooding, we see it in different parts of the country, but it comes without warning, and it comes hard and fast, and that's what they're dealing with so far. Some of these rescues are now underway. And just looking for a bit more information from our affiliates in Washington, we'll, we'll bring you those to you in a moment. But uh, watching that car being towed away, you have to think that that scene and scenes like this in the National Mall are repeated consistently throughout our nation's capital today. So the Washington area is still under a flash flood warning. Heavy rain uh, in some areas can, it, it continues, some areas it has stopped. But the flash flood warning is in effect until 1.45 p.m. local time. Uh, that's another two hours from now. So life-threatening uh, situation there. And look at these images coming in. That's a UPS truck where you can see the water bill coming up almost halfway.